something here has resonated with a few people, and that's that's kind of neat. You gonna lose your job? More than likely. The 38-year-old flight attendant lost his cool on board a JetBlue flight arriving at New York's Kennedy Airport. He allegedly ranted over the public address system at a passenger who'd stood up before the plane stopped and then bumped Mr Slater with a bag. Stephen Slater is then said to have grabbed his bag and an aeroplane beer before fleeing the scene via an emergency slide. The outburst led to charges of reckless endangerment and criminal mischief. But on the internet, the renegade steward has fast become a folk hero. Tens of thousands have signed up to Facebook pages praising his plain speaking professional suicide. Come, Stephen. Come on. An unlikely star who will undoubtedly receive a flood of media offers. But for now, he craves just one thing. I gotta go take a bath. Steve Kingston, BBC News, Washington. Now, just a line coming in uh, from the news agencies uh, from uh, China and the mudslides uh, there because uh, the AFP news agency just reporting that the death toll has risen to uh, over 1,100 to 1,117 dead with a further 627 missing. That is uh, coming from government sources apparently being uh, quoted on the AFP news agency. The China mudslide toll rising to 1,117 so far. We'll bring you more on that story a little later. Now, though, the time is uh, creeping up to uh, five minutes to one. Sophie's here with One O'Clock News next. That's after weather. Matt Taylor. Hello there. After the rainfall yesterday in the southern half of the country, today the sunshine is out. But while the sunshine will be there in certain degrees further north, there'll also be some pretty heavy showers around. Worst of those are across Scotland at present, working their way southwards. They're covered by a Met Office severe weather warning, which will last into the evening. Some of that rain will be heavy and persistent. And by the end of the afternoon, I think some of the worst conditions will be around western half of Scotland, say from Fort William, Auburn, down into the Glasgow and air areas. Still some outbreaks of rain across the northeast, but a bit of brightness perhaps across some parts of Lothian. Outbreaks of rain possible across northern England as well. Cloudy conditions across Lancashire and Cumbria. Yorkshire seen a few breaks in that cloud. And whilst there will be one or two showers in the Midlands by this stage. Much of southern England, except for one or two isolated showers, will be dry. And with the sunshine out, it will feel warmer than yesterday. There will be a bit more of a breeze across the southwest, coming in from a northwesterly direction, so it'll feel fresh along some of the coasts, as will be the case across southern parts of Cardigan Bay. But that breeze will start to bring showers by the end of the afternoon into far north of Wales. Some of those on the heavy side. A few further showers in Northern Ireland, particularly towards the north of the country, but elsewhere you should finish the day on a fine note with the cloud broken and allowing some spells of sunshine to take us into the evening. In fact, during the evening, the showers continue across the north. Further south, it remains dry, so it'll be fine for the kickoffs in Cardiff and at Wembley for the international friendlies. Temperatures in the high teens, a bit of sunshine around, though it will start to feel much cooler as we go into the latter stages of the match. And that's because the breeze will still be with us, the skies will clear, temperatures will start to fall away. Further outbreaks of rain across Scotland, northern England and eventually into the Midlands through this coming night. And temperatures will be down to around 11 to 14 degrees as we start Thursday morning. Now for Thursday, bright start once again across southern areas, but showers will start to develop here during the afternoon. The wettest conditions, I think, through the morning will be across North Wales, parts of uh, northern England and the Midlands. Some heavy packs in thundery downpours running towards East Anglia during the second half of the day. Still some heavy showers across Scotland, but not quite as wet as today. Brightest conditions throughout will be across the southwest and through Northern Ireland, where temperatures will reach around 19 or 20 degrees. Now, the reason for the showery weather is low pressure, never too far away from us on Friday, always closer to eastern districts than it is to the west. So it's here where we'll see some maybe some longer spells of rain, and it will feel cool along the coast during the day but across the western half of the country, perhaps staying reasonably dry and reasonably fine. Take care. Celebrate another great season with unrivaled coverage from BBC Radio 5 Live.
Britain's stars return from the European Championships to take on the biggest names in world athletics. Who will have the last word? The London Grand Prix, Friday at 6 on BBC Two and 5 Live Sports Extra. A hundred years of home movies. You never know what you're going to find. Revealing what British life was really like. It's like looking for a keyhole in the past. This is about social history. BBC Two unearths the hidden treasures in this amazing archive. Nothing tells the story in quite the same way, with quite the same intimacy, as these films by amateurs. Home Movie Roadshow continues Friday at 9 on BBC Two. We're travelling from the southern tip of England to the far north of Scotland, exploring the very best that the British countryside has to offer. But we are going to be taking the long way around, because this journey is all about getting off the beaten track. Secret Britain starts in the southwest of England, Sunday at 9 on BBC One. warns of a choppy recovery as the British economy continues to drag itself out of recession. The rise in VAT next year means inflation will remain high while growth forecasts have been lowered. It will take many years before bank balance sheets and fiscal positions return to anything like normal. In the meantime, they will act as headwinds on the recovery. A silver lining, unemployment figures fall again, but is it just the calm before the storm? It's widespread in India and Pakistan, the superbug that has entered Britain's hospitals and is alarming scientists. The death toll in China's massive mudslide rises to more than 1,100. Hundreds more are still missing. After a fortnight of floods in Pakistan, aid agencies warn that more international help is needed to stop people dying. And jetting into internet fame, the air steward who stormed off a plane after a row with a passenger is bailed, released on bail. And in sport, is this the dawn of a new era for England? Fabio Capello's new look side play Hungary at Wembley tonight in their first game since the World Cup. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at One. The Governor of the Bank of England is warning that the UK economy is facing a choppy recovery with slower than expected growth and higher than expected inflation. Mervyn King says the rise in VAT to 20%, which is due in January, means that inflation will stay above the bank's 2% target until the end of next year. Here's our business correspondent, John Moylan. Jobs, consumer confidence, our standard of living, they're all linked to the rate at which the economy grows. And today, in its quarterly assessment, the Bank of England was forced to revise its forecast down. The UK recovery is likely to continue 